here we are walmart let's run in here we're gonna go vampire hunting got my wooden stakes sharpened got my holy water my silver let's go see if we can catch us a vampire robin what do we got here for us tonight transformers looks pretty stunt can't remember if it was that full last time or not ratchet back there peeking over that little two-pack uh, tons of turtles tons of plushies wow look at that I actually got some stock boxes out there, but I can't see anything good in them. So I don't think we're going to have any figures. And I can already look down there and see they have no meat for them, hardly at all. So, strike out again on our vampire hunt. But we'll find him. That's right, Flea. Oh. Uh, let's put him down here on this peg. It's not quite as full. Now. Movie Turtles, Ray Filet is on one of the newer ones that I see. So I got an MJ there, older legends, not even gonna flip through those. No X-Men or any other No Way Home. What else we got? Dinosaurs, kinds of dinosaurs. You getting any dino guys? I don't know if any of this is new or not. Those are kind of cool looking. I think those epic evolutions there are new if I'm not mistaken. That little crushed car thing. That looks kind of cool too, you know, from the first movie. I don't think it's based on anything out of the first movie, but... Shazam, Cyclone... Uh, the, the multiverse here is ridiculous. They haven't stocked it forever. So, yep, I'm going to be a little whiny and negative about that. <laughs> Down there's Death Storm. We got in the back back there. Kid Flash. Green Lantern. Death Storm. And yeah, some old, I guess they got, actually got in some Aquaman page punchers, just two rows of them. Well, row and a half. Got the Batman, the three pack. Uh, some three and three quarter. Man, those are down to two dollars. The Flash movie, yep, two bucks. Shows four on the thing. You only got one. Unless there's some laying down around here loose somewhere. They've actually cleaned all the stuff off the top. I wonder if done with all that. They had stacks of superpowers up there. Hey, none of these are new, are they? Nope. Hope it's a sound of getting rid of those things. What do we got down through here? Uh, Starfighter, Ezra. I don't see anything new and exciting in the Star Wars world. Oh, my droids. <laughs> I really enjoy those things. Probably more than a 42-year-old man should. Oh, we got some uh, WWE Ultimates. We got the Olympic hero, Kurt Angle. We've got Bobby Lashley. And then we've got Bianca. So, yeah, we got the new Ultimates. That's pretty cool. It's not a complete waste. We saw a little bit new. I tell you, I'm having trouble tracking down guys with McFarlane Collector's Editions. I'm seeing everybody find those, but GameStop in Bristol has got to cut. Oh, there's a Hogan. What are the odds of that thing having blue boots? Let's approach it. It has. Ah, oh, jello boots. <laughs> Been cool to have found that thing for a third time. I don't remember. I was here the other day, them having him or Rick Rude, so They've got a case of those in, looks like. And the Moss Man, they got plenty of. Got some snake eyes and some, um, I just pretty far his name, scrap iron. Still got Destro and Lady J. The Destros are somewhat new here. Oh, these are down now to 17. Oh, it's Motu, not G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe's still 25 bucks. So I guess that is down to 17. Oh, I got that for 10 bucks somewhere. I think it was a Brown's Mule. Our Stratos again, Sci Fi Tsunami. Full price. <laughs> One of my viewers wanted me to call those out when I see them in stores to kind of see how long it takes them to put them on clearance. Looks like it's going to be a while. Mario. Okay, what does that mean? Oh, that is annoying. That is annoying. I'm going to turn the camera off, guys. If that stops, I shall return. Okay, sorry about that alarm. They finally got that turned off, so let's go back on here real quick. We're in the die cast now. Let's just see what they got. Kings of Crunch. Shell Mustang. Oh, uh, some Jadas there from Fast and the Furious. A lot of those. 
Yeah, I don't remember what store I saw it in, but that one, uh, it was a M2. I can't remember what it was called now to even talk about it, but it had like the, it looked like an old like green army colored fighter jet or something. I haven't seen that thing since that one time. I wish I would've got that. That looked pretty cool. Even though I just butchered what it was, because I can't remember. Oh, they have a die cast here. They used to have a little end cap. They've taken it down. Uh, Lego looks pretty stocked. But I'm sure it's the stuff you've already been seeing, so I'm not gonna show you that stuff again. It's all the new 2024 January sets. There's a peg of Monster Jam, but I think it's on the same truck. That one. Monster Jam's kind of disappeared recently here in my areas. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, one viewer told me that number six in these is the hard one to find. I can tell you what, three and four in my area is not hard to find. There's some older die cast. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything back here, guys. That's probably going to do it for this uh, section. I'm going to check the Lego, look around a little bit more. I do find anything, I'll let you see it. If I don't, I'll see you at the next one. Browns Mill, Walmart, and a whole lot of wind. So let's run in here and let's see what they got. Okay, let's start out in the back of the aisle here. There are some people up above me, so we don't want to get anyone's way. There is a hail shredder. And what belts have we got here? Um, no winged eagles. It must be a hard one to find. I've only seen that thing a couple of times. This is the one that has all the Randy Ortons. They still got a bunch of them. There's Ronnie Piper. There is a Hogan. What's the odds of oh, it? does have blue boots. <laughs> Hogan Chase. Third time finding this thing. That is awesome. I don't know if it's still as hard to find as it was, but still, it's cool to see it. I'm going to take a picture of that. Uh, it's kind of hard to get him with the blue boots. There we go. Hogan Chase out. Oh my God, look back there. Move the dinosaur out of the way. Another one. Two blue boots. Hogan Chases. And the same with it. I found three of these Chase figures here at this Walmart now. Let's find a place to stand these up. And we need a picture for the thumbnail. Two Hogan Chase figures. That is awesome. Let's see what else they got here. We got Lou Albano. That one looks good. And there's Vader. Another There's another Hogan. Whoa, he's got yellow boots. <laughs> so let's say, if I found three of them here. Oh, man. There's another Piper. Oh, he's somewhat unpunished, but not really. Stick him up there on the peg. Ah, oh, look at this, though. Two Hogan Blue Boots chases. That is sweet. Let's hang these things back up. I've already got one of these, but it is cool to see them. Now, let's see what else we got. I actually got somebody walking behind me, so I've got to push you up next to the aisle here for a second. And then, what else way? Going the other way now. Let's see, we're gonna check out for a second. Okay, we're back. So we still got a buttload of our Andy Orton Ultimates. We had two Hogan chases, that was cool. I don't see anything new in Black Series. Still got a bunch of these armor transports. Now before I did turn the camera back on, I did scan these things because there's so many here and they are still full price. Crusader Batmobiles, Spin Masters, probably one of the reasons they all are still here. It's because they're all still full price because down there on the end cap, over top, there is still a butt load of those troop transports. We got a McFarlane boat, invisible jet. I don't see any multiverse down here at all. Nothing back in there, and I can already, already look here and see they do not have Vampire Robin. They haven't touched this or restocked anything since last time I was here. It's a Blue Boots Hogan. They had two of those. There's a Monster Jam. These dinosaurs, I think, are new. The Neo Venator and the Allosaurus. And the Triceratops there as well. Uh, some of these could be new. I don't know, guys. I don't follow Jurassic Park or Jurassic World stuff. That looks like one of the new packaging. Dilophosaurus is pretty cool. And there's another Dino Tracker, Indominus Rex. Indigo Raptors, an older Allosaurus down there. Extreme damage. 
what else we got all kinds of these $15 Hulk figures that I don't think it's going to sell that is on clearance is that really $30 oh my lord that is on clearance for $5.99 right now at Target I thought about buying it today I saw it on clearance I didn't film the clearance on Target it's been there forever but I did not realize that thing was $30 retail oh lord that's terrible um, what else we got here are these things finally clearanced Ninja Elite nope what was six bucks? NG Elite MV Leo. Is that that one? If he's only six bucks, I might consider that. We're going to scan him once the camera turns off. No big turtles. Don't recognize any. Here's all those troop transports, by the way. Not seeing anything else. All right, we're going to check out. I want to see how much that Leo is. And if I don't see anything else here, I'll see you at the next one. Oh, still can't believe I found two Blue Boots Chases. A Mustang pack there is not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see what and all we got down through here. Got the giraffe. A little dozer, the combine. I've already got the combine also got that little pullback mclaren thing i don't see it i like the really enjoy the pullback technics like i said there's some technics coming in a space line that release in march oh i am looking forward to those i don't i looked at the lego website i can't remember the price but technically they're gonna be cheap but i will probably look to get some of those at least when they get released that's a cool little diecast batman figure set uh, this might be a quick gander through here, buddy. I'm not seeing anything. Got that little monster truck there, too. They're going to put together. <laughs> what do we got? Well, I think those chase figures, all this place is going to have. What do we got down here in this little Lego? Anything crammed in here? I found something random sitting in here one time. I don't recall what, but it always makes me want to look, just in case. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I found there. I think it was a multiverse figure <laughs> for YouTube. There's the Marvel Max. I want to build those into a video on them. I need to hurry and do that. Um, there's the fully stocked little Lego end cap. All right, everybody. I think that's going to do it for this Walmart. We're going to go back and check the collectors. If I do see anything cool back there... I'll get the old camera out and show it to you. If I don't, then we'll see you at the next one. What's up, everyone? We're here inside of Walmart. We're in Kingsport, Tennessee. Too windy outside to do an intro, so let's just do it and get back here and see what they got. Probably should have kept my camera on. I just rambled as I came on here because I'm only like 30 steps where I stopped recording the intro. Uh, Ratchet and Prime. Plenty of those. At least plenty of Ratchets. I don't know about Prime. That's a cool looking Optimus Prime. What do we got down through here in the world of turtles? Got some clearance tags here. Six bucks. Giant movie raft. Giant movie raft. I guess that's the big Eaton Mayhem turtles. Hmm. Oh, right there he is. Oh, this is only six bucks, huh? I don't think i need that for six dollars but it's tempting to buy for six dollars what else we got clearance down here astron dinosaur giant movie leo giant movie raf i thought maybe the mega mutant might be let's make sure i don't see a tie there he is mega mutant still 25 okay probably they got a bunch of him i don't have but one Raph and Leo. Well, no Leo is one Raph. What else we got here in Turtles? Um, let's see. On the end cap, before I walked down this aisle, Bishop and Storm Magneto, um, they had the Lego, the Ghost Rider set that came out last year. It was on had a clearance tag on it, but it's one of those clearances at full price, which was very disappointing. Of course, I've already got the thing. I don't need another one. But, you know, it's hard to turn down a good deal on a cool Lego set. And I think that Ghost Rider set's pretty cool. 
Uh, some older. Um, what are those called? Superpowers. Whew. Sorry, guys. I'm not fully awake yet. This place opened up early. It's only like 10 to 6. They already had the doors open. Still the same things up there. Uh, Black Lightning. Black Lightning. Jim Gordon. It's a non-platinum edition, I think. What's behind Batman here? Black Lightning. Then I see a hush looking at me back there. Uh, up here, we got our Future States. Dark Knights of Steel, Future States. Another Dark Knight of Steel looking at me there. Just at first glance, I think we're going to strike out on Robin again. There's a Black Lightning, Frost King. Black is not. There's a Whirly Bat. Frost King. This Superman, I mean, it's not a nice, it's not a bad Superman until you get there. The face just isn't that great on him. One reason I have not pulled the trigger on him. Batman, there's a hush and a black lightning. Uh, yep, no Robin. I think these, the Dino Trackers, they're the new ones, right? For Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, whatever. Not the Sutton. We got our Batmobile. I think they're trying to get some of their superpowers down. As you can tell, there's a full to the end of the pig. It's hard to flip through them, but I hate not to look. You never can tell when they might get some new ones. And slip them in behind this stuff. Wish they didn't. That's kind of wishful thinking, I guess. <laughs> All right, what's down through here? Where's there? there's a micro galaxy? There's Moss Man. There's Pre Vizsla. Boba Fett. That's going to be either a clearance deal or a Ross and Ollie's. Or Ross or Ollie's. Find one of these days. All right, nothing there on Micro Gas. We've got Chopper, Ezra, Huong, Chopper. Uh, here you got Luke Skywalker from the Jedi Academy. We've got Elizabeth Han Solo. I don't think there's any of the new ones or new new ones, newer ones, I guess you could say. Uh, Lando, man, Lando's had a little bit of a rough go there. It's kind of beaten up. Uh, these guys work. <laughs> oh, you got to enjoy those things. Let's get a picture of the toy owl. You know, here in the man collects, I'm always going on about needing thumbnail fodder. So, look at her. Hot Wheels in cap. But it's been gone through since they're all there. And sometimes they set pallets over here. Well, they got a pallet they've emptied, looks like. But, oh, uh, we still got a bunch of ultimates. A whole lot of ultimates here. Lashley's, Orton's, Belair's, Angle's. And right there, somebody's got them lined up. I'll take a picture of those. That can look good on a thumbnail, can it? Still got Stratos and Jitsu, Sci-Fi Tsunami. Here it is, buddy. But look, it's down 90, or 20, is it 21? I think it was 17.97, really? That's got 17.99. I don't know what that was for. Motu MV Revelations. Okay, that's not the, uh, that line. It's the um, Masterverse. That makes sense. Uh, still got Sammy Zane there in the Usos. At least Jay. Roxanne. Oh, look at this. Cobra Shadow Tracker. That is kind of beaten up. Doesn't appear to be tampered with. If it's only 2188, that's a possibility. And we got Bam Bam. We got him on clearance. I don't exactly remember where. But I found him at one Walmart on clearance. <laughs> I think it's Bristol, Tennessee. Uh, Spider-Man dinosaur up there. That didn't sound good. I hope I didn't cause it. Well, I know somebody's apologizing. I hope I didn't cause it. Pumpy Playtime stuff. There's a Godzilla and Kong. <laughs> it looks to be the only one that remains. I didn't see any more of those things that are on the shelves here, but... Looks like that's going to do it for our toy section. We got a possible $6 raft. And then we got a G.I. Joe down here we got to check on. This um, Shadow Tracker. But we're going to check the price on those. And then we're going to check some die cast collectors. See anything else I'll show it to you. If not, 
See you at the next store. Let's make one of our daily trips. Well, not daily anymore, but semi-daily trips to Ross. Let's see if they got anything new for us today. Well, we got some more of these Transformers in here. Plus, check this out. They got more of the patron hostess of Ross. We got three sirens. Hmm, you know that by kid. There's the armor, retro cars. They got some of those Power Rangers and Lolas and a Mario set. But that's about all that is going on up front. Let's head to the back and let's see what they got. This is about the fullest this aisle has been in a while. Let's see what they got. We know they got Masters of the Universe up there, but I saw Rolando Flores, one of the greatest you know, supporters of all the YouTubers on YouTube there, had found uh, Snake Eyes and Timber. So I was hoping to find that, but here we go. We got Battle Armor He-Man. You got Buzzsaw Hordak. And then you got Battle Armor Skeletor. And of course, they all are $4.99. So Motu still continuing to trickle in here at Ross. Always nice to come to Ross and find some finds. We got some Motu here today. And they got a restock on Siren as we saw up front. So that's always great. What do we got out here? My Hero Academia is actually marked down to $6.99. I might have saw that the other day. I don't remember. All right, so we don't have any Snake Eyes and Timber here yet, but we do have some more Motu, so Ross is still continuing to provide, but if I do see anything else in here, I'll show it to you. If I don't, we're going to see you at the next one. And there, way up there in the distance, is Target in Kingsport, Tennessee. Just left Books a Million here in Kingsport, and we struck out. So let's go into Target and see what they got. What have we got in NECA? Looks like they haven't had a restock on theirs either. Still got a pretty good amount though. It's Creature from the Black Lagoon. Michelangelo. No street fight I've seen so far. And no new, I see a firestorm. But the new McFarland Collector's Editions have not hit in my area just yet. Still got firestorm. That's pretty cool. Death Storm, Black Lantern, Blackest Nights, Greg Kinnear, Superman. They have sold a lot of the animated figures. Makes me wonder if we're going to scan one of them as soon as I get done recording. There's some Reapers, no Disruptors. What else we got? No one likes a fart. Hmm, but that's a good read. There's Snake Eyes. He's on clearance, $9.99. Roger Rabbit, you got Psycho, Eddie, Roger in Love, The Judge. 8-bit Magneto. There's the movie Maniacs. That is, I can't get into those. They're not the old movie Maniacs. The good ones. Uh, any clearance aisles back here? No end caps. Well, let's go scan us a animated figure and see how much it is. And then let's get over to the toy section and see what they got. I've well, got these new little Avenger figures here. No Thanos. Got Hulk, Thor... There's a Sam Wilson cap. Uh, Black Panther, Iron Man. Okay, that is $5.99 at Bristol Target on clearance. Let's get over here to the action figures and check it out. Again, Transformers guys, I don't know if any of that's new or not. Optimus down there is pretty cool looking, Earth Spark. I don't think I've seen that before. Um, got the little four pack there from Aquaman. The little that thing's seventeen dollars at most Walmart's now on clearance. Here's Mel Gibson Aquaman. Uh, nothing exciting in any of that. Got Anti Monitor and Justice Buster. Ecto One. Oh, there's Egon. What else they got back there? And two Egons. Vapra and Copperhead. Vapra. There's some more of these. They got Thanos back here. Yep, there he is. I do kind of like Thanos, not gonna lie. Uh, oh, here's those little packs. That Cap and Iron Man and those. There's some more of these. Panther. I don't think there's any more of those that's out we haven't already seen. X-Men said, oh, they got mutt in Junkyard. There we go. 
got the proton blaster that thing looks pretty cool and then this batman and bane set doesn't look half bad either this looks like coronation star scream oh we got an infinity saga this is probably the best looking one trying to get a picture of him there's no glare three camps couple of mark twos Black Suit Spidey, Iron Spider, Venom, and some of those. Still got plenty of Ultimate Warriors. Got the Sheik. What else we got down through here? No clearance tags. Not a whole lot in Star Wars. Masterverse, New Eternia, He-Man, and Merman. That's been here for quite a while. Is he still $20.99? Buzz off and sorceress. They have a Stratos back there. Nope. I still got a couple of these. There's Donnie and Mikey and Raph. So no Leo with these. Unless he's here somewhere I don't see him. There's Kong. Mutating Mikey, mutating Donnie and Raph. Still haven't seen Bebop and Rocksteady. Oh, they got the big remote control Godzilla. I'd like to have that. Um, he was $6 this morning at Walmart, and I assume he was probably the same price. But I don't think they're clearance here. Giant Kong is cool. Um, some more. I got all kinds of Kong stuff here. Scar, Godzilla, Kong. And some dinos. Mamalakiansaurus. Mamalakiansaurus. I know that's not the name, but I can't begin, even begin to try to pronounce that. If anybody knows how to pronounce it, let me know. Okay. I think that's going to do it pretty much for the action figure. How much is Ecto? 29 bucks for Ecto. Okay. Egon there is pretty cool. I don't need to get those, though. $15 a piece. Don't need to get them. And I gotta say, these are selling for stupid prices on eBay. I don't understand why people are paying $80 for those. They're brand new, people. Give it time. You'll be able to find them. But anywho, let's sign off. Take a look at some die some Lego. If we see anything, I'll let you see it. If we don't, I'll see you at the next one. Let's take a look at our video game stuff here. They got a donkey, a couple of Donkey Kongs. That is an awesome figure. And $19.99. For 20 bucks eh. I haven't taken it out of the box yet size wise I'd almost say yes there's rainbow friends and this this thing that these are new at Target I don't know what they are Tower of Hell there's a Cobra Kai Johnny Lawrence um, another Cobra Kai Johnny Lawrence and you got that kind of cool looking I guess but don't know what it is I assume it's something video game Need to ask the kids. I'm sure they can tell me. That's how you know you're getting old, people. You don't know what stuff is. You have to ask your kids. Um, Pokemon stuff. Uh, nothing back here. Diecast, really. It's kind of dry. Fast and the Furious. Back to the Future. Batman. G.I. Joe. Ones we've been seeing for a while. No pink Batmobile. Nope. I can see that pink Batmobile, I ain't gonna lie. I've already looked at these, I'll just give you a spoiler. There's no series, or very little series 33, and no chase. Uh, no chases in our Star Wars there. We have some newer ones though. I think there is a chase of that one. But of course, it's got the red top, so that ain't it. Oh, uh, we got a little bit of clearance stuff out here. Keep the camera turned in. Everybody out here, here you go. You got a bunch of raptors. 360 each. And then you got some Mario stuff over there I can't get to, but Kamek's down to $5.99 and so is Toad. But that is going to wrap this one up. If I were to happen to see anything else, I'll let you see it. If not, then I'm going to see you at the next stop. We are back here at Ross. Yep, that's right, Ross. We're going in to see what they got. Um, I am seeing some people finding Snake Eyes and Timber GI Joe classifieds now. So let's run in here, see if we might find one. Well, I gotta say, the toy owl here, they didn't have this much during Christmas. 
Now, I don't know if it's quality over quantity. Up front, they didn't have hardly anything. Well, they had stuff, but it was Pops and Monster Hunter mech strike we'd already seen a thousand times. There's the Gigantotosaurus. More Transformers laying around back in there. Uh, I gotta admit, I saw these blue boxes here and I got excited thinking that they were Snake Eyes. <laughs> uh, what else we got? My Hero Academia is a Mario set. Uh, that Marvel little racer thing. There's another Giganto hanging out back there. Well. Unless it's somewhere, I just don't see it jumping out and saying boo. Don't think we're going to find it here, but I think, again, I got a lot of stuff. Got a bunch of dinos there, the Irritator, Triceratops. We see him in a lot of them now. There's a Joker. I've seen Flash like this. I don't know if I've seen the Joker. Uh, there's some Megatron, Optimuses, and those little scale Transformers, Power Ranger. We get down into more of the, the little kitty kitty stuff, but I think that's gonna do it, guys. If I do see anything else, I'll show it to you. If not, then I'll see you at the next stop. Well, hello there, Ross in Greenville, Tennessee. Let's run in here and see what you got. Again, looking for some new GI Joes that are showing up, and maybe some O2. So let's go in here and see if they got any of that. Take a look and see what they got. Still got Ahsoka's back there. Uh, armors. That was one of the last little. Star Wars figures to show up here. They got Nova and Firestar. That's pretty cool. $2.99 each. I enjoyed that little Marvel 3 and 3 quarter line. I was saddened when they ended it. We do have some G.I. Joe, but unfortunately it's not Snake Eyes. We got two Zaymonts back there. Of course, they're about everywhere now. In raw stores. Oh, let's we'll squat down here. Sorry, guys. I've been sitting in the truck for a while. I'm a little stiff. we got here super mario got some of those power ranger packs there still there's a batman five pack from spin master or flash i mean not batman the amazon exclusive that's different 14.99 mandalorian oh usb charger <laughs> okay that's kind of cool uh big thanos back there i don't remember if he was here last time but we've seen him at ross before Still got one static shock is left from the Christmas rush of 2023. Uh, yep. No snake eyes, unfortunately. But we're going to hit some more places before the end of this week. And then, of course, we'll hit some Ross this weekend when we're out hunting on Saturday. And still got all these psycho men. They have not sold. <laughs> Every time I see those, I still have nervous anticipation. Maybe. Just maybe. It's a fire lord. But, nope. They're always psycho men. Uh, they got a few baby toys back here. They may have stuck a snake eyes back here not knowing. Nope, they did not. And no other toys stuck in random spots down here. They do have one of the Fortnite tractor and trailers there, if I hadn't already pointed that out. But that is going to conclude our Ross hunt here in Greenville. If I were to find anything else, I'll let you see it. If I don't, then I will see you at the next one. All right, everybody, I just got out of the truck. I'm gonna stretch the old legs a little bit. We're going to head into the Bristol Target and see what they got in here. I'm still trying to find McFarland Collector's Editions. So let's go in here and see if they might have them. Okay, so we're in Target in Bristol and they didn't have anything else, but now I'm looking at the um, collectible section, they bring these out. So the girl was stocking some pops and stuff, so I wanted to get out of her way. So she let me move these over to the next aisle to get some content. But we do have Batman as Green Lantern. Sadly, I'll go ahead and tell you, this is the only one they didn't have the chase for. His chase is going to be hard to find, in my opinion. But you got Batman as Green Lantern. You got the standard Captain Carrot. There is our chase. I have to say, for this one, I kind of like the standard better than the chase. And then we've got Superman and Crypto regular. And then the variant. I'm thinking on this, guys. I think the head... And fists from this one would look better on that one. But anyways, we got them all here. The whole wave of regulars and all the chases except for the one that I wanted. But glad to finally see these things in my target. So I'm going to wrap it up in here. See anything else, I'll show it to you. If not, see you the next.
Hello YouTube, my name is Chris, this is The Man Collects, and as usual I want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for joining me here for the end of the week toy hunt video adventure on YouTube. If you have gotten this far in the video and you've somewhat enjoyed the content, be sure to click that like button before you leave the video. Now, let's get into the stores. Where did you see me at in this one? You saw me at some Walmarts trying to find some cool stuff, Targets, the Ross stores. But I was at two Walmarts in Johnson City, the one on West Market Street and the one on Browns Mill Road. The Walmart in Kingsport on Fort Henry Drive. Then we hit three Ross stores in this one, Ross in Bristol, Virginia, Kingsport, Tennessee, Greenville, Tennessee, and then two Targets, the one in Kingsport and then the one in Bristol, Virginia. Very briefly in the one in Bristol, Virginia, I only found one good find in there, but... It was the find I was trying to find, so it was a good find. But we got a little bit of Bristol content in there. But all those stores we were in, which one was uh, Store the Hunt? What made Store the Hunt for this video? I think this is the third video in a row that Bristol Target is going to be Store of the Hunt. Which is kind of odd because Bristol Target was probably the shortest clip that I had in the video because they had nothing else other than what I showed you. But the one thing I found in that store is the one thing I've been trying to find at Target and Books A Million and GameStop, the latest wave of McFarlane Collector Edition figures. Now, just to give a little context to those figures, I was in that store looking around, didn't see anything. I always scan the Batman animated figures. Well, there's a girl that works at Target who's usually stocking back in that area. I've never really spoken to her much before, but she usually sees me in there, I guess. But I went and got that Batman figure and started walking towards the scanner, and I heard her say something, but I assume she wasn't talking to me, so I just kept on going, scanned the figure. It wasn't on clearance, so I probably would have got it, but... When I was taking it back, she told me, she says, I've got a bunch of that McFarlane stuff on my toy cart back here that I'm getting ready to bring out here. She said, if you can wait a couple of minutes, I'll run back there and get it now and bring it on out and you can look at it. And I held up the animated figure. I was like, is it these? And she said, no, it's something different. I was like, I'll wait. But she brought it out there and it was Wave 3 of the McFarlane Collector's Editions. Found all of them we were looking for with the exception of one, the Batman Chase. The Batman is Green Lantern Chase. What I'm seeing is the one that is hard to find in this current wave. So anyone finds that, you got your, I guess, a rarer McFarlane Chase. But that is Store of the Hunt, Target in Bristol, Virginia, because I found the figures. I've been going to several different stores trying to find and they finally came through for me. Now, let's lead into... The man's top three coolest things I saw in this toy or on this toy hunt. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is number three, and it's two figures, but it's two of the same figures. So I guess it only counts as one, but we're going to talk about the Blue Boots Chase Hulk Hogan figure from the WWE Superstars line. That, with what I understand, was one of the harder to find chases. This is the Fourth, fourth time I have found that or figure. Twice on, on this occasion, I found it one time before in that same Walmart and one time at the Avenue Walmart. But two of those Blue Boots Chase Hogan's in the same store, that was cool to find. Again, I don't always see that Chase figure. I don't see a lot of people finding it. It may not be super rare. It may not be rare at all. I don't know. But as far as my toy hunting goes, it is somewhat rare. So I only found it four times, and it's been kind of far apart when I have found it. But it was really cool to see those there in that store. So they are number three of this video's top three, the two Blue Boots Hogan Chase figures that the man collects found at Walmart. Now, let's lead into number two. And same as number three, there is more than one figure in number two slot. And that goes to Ghostbusters. Um, guys, this latest line of the retro Ghostbusters, I'm really digging it. I haven't bought any of them to spoil the, the haul portion. Well, I picked up one for a buddy the other day, but that doesn't count. I didn't buy it for me. But um, these are really looking cool. The Fright Features figures I had when I was a kid, for whatever reason, that's triggering that nostalgia more than the actual Ghostbuster that released a few years ago. But Egon was there in the Target in Bristol, uh, or I'm sorry, Target in um, Kingsport, Tennessee. I'm sorry about that. I forgot the location. They had Egon and Ecto-1. Seeing that stuff is really cool. I know Ecto-1 was also re-released here a few years back, but again, it's been a little while. It's cool seeing that on the shelf. Those Fright Feature figures, in my mind, look exactly the same as they did when I was a kid. Even the cards and stuff, they're on there in the store. So it's really cool to see those. And like I said, you see, to me, you see stuff like that. You had it when you were young. You remember, you kind of remember seeing it in stores. It's kind of like you step in a little time portal and get transported back to on a nostalgia trip there, seeing this stuff on the shelf. So that's why it takes number two, Fright Features Egon and Ecto-1 that we saw in the Kingsport Target. What's that leave us? 
that leaves us with number one. And there is way more than one figure at the number one spot this week because we're going to put all those McFarlane Collector's Editions we found in the number one spot for this week on the Toy Hunt. Been going to Books A Million almost every day looking for these game stops. Been going to Target stores and finally found them. Now, as I said earlier, you know, thankfully that young lady there in Target in Bristol, Virginia offered to bring her card out there and let me get those figures. I really appreciate that. I gotta say, I, I think I'm pretty lucky as far as the retail stores go. You hear a lot of horror stories about employees being rude, being mean, refusing to go to the back and look and things like that. I have not had that experience in my stores around here. Walmarts can be a little iffy, but they're not too bad. But the Target stores have been really good that I go to. But like I said, you got Captain Carrot, you got Chase Captain Carrot, you got Superman, the Chase Superman, and then you got Batman as Green Lantern. The only one they didn't have was that Batman Chase. And like I said, what I'm seeing, that's pretty hard to find. But those were cool to see. Been trying to find them. Finally found them. They are the number one for this Toy Hunt video. We've established our top three. Now, what did I buy? Let's go into the toy hall. Well, the first thing I bought, I did not record when I went back into the Bristol, Virginia Walmart. I was trying to find Vampire Robin, to be quite honest. We didn't find him, so I didn't film. Uh, one thing they had, the gold labels, uh, Vampire Green Lantern and Black Lightning are hitting $6 clearance in a lot of Walmarts. So if you've been long gaming those figures, if you've been watching them at your Walmart stores, get there and check them. They are starting to hit clearance. But anyways, I saw something there the other morning. I wasn't sure if this is what I thought it was. And another viewer, uh, Kenny, I think it's Williams, had also commented on it. But this is Gar's car from Wayne's World 2. The Trivu Pursuit little AMC pacer there. But this is modeled after uh, you know, Dana Carvey played Garth Algar in Wayne's World. But modeled after the car that he drove in that movie. Uh, if you look at the Trivial Pursuit car, I don't know how much you can read it. But the questions there are based off of Wayne's World. So it's really cool. I love that movie. So I had to get this thing to go in the diecast collection there. The um, what, 1970, 1976 AMC Pacer modeled after Garth Algar's car from Wayne's World. All right, the rest of the haul. And to be honest, this haul has blown my budget probably this week and next week. So you may not see a lot of pickups in a lot of next week's videos because of this. But we did find our McFarlane figures. And we'll show first here Captain Carrot. I have to say, I don't know a whole lot about Captain Carrot. What he is, who he does, what he can do, or any of that. But I will say, out of this McFarlane Collector's Editions that I have, I would rank Hawkman as number one. I probably would rank the Bat, the Green Lantern Batman number two. This, to me, looks wise as number three in this in this entire line. This is a cool looking figure. I gotta say, the suit's nicely detailed. The rabbit. I mean, look at his head sculpt there. That's pretty cool looking, I think. But we did pick up the regular edition Captain Carrot. And I gotta say, the regular edition to me looks better than this one, but I still got it because I wanted to get all this wave. We got the Chase, the Platinum Edition of Captain Carrot as well. And there you can see whatever difference you can see between him and the original version. A regular version, not original. And then I've already got the regular Superman. I bought it in GameStop the other day, so I did not buy the regular Superman in Crypto, but I did buy the green Superman in Crypto. It is my understanding these glow in the dark. And if anybody's watched my channel a lot, you probably know that I'm a sucker for things that glow in the dark. So I did pick up the Chase version here of Superman and Crypto. Looking at this one and looking at the regular version, I'm not going to open them. They're going to stay in box. But if I did open them, I would probably... Well, no, you can't swap the head. I was going to say I may swap the head sculpt and the, and the hands because I think the regular face might look better on the dark blue but he's got the green neck there so you couldn't do that but anyways this is a cool looking figure i'm curious to see if it does glow in the dark i'm gonna leave it under my ring light here and see if i can charge it up and mess with that some tomorrow but we did get the chase superman all right the last pickup and i saved this one for like because if this current waved in my opinion this is the best figure of the ones i've seen i have not seen his variant but we did get Batman as Green Lantern. This thing looks great. I've seen it before in GameStop. Didn't pick it up because the bubble was cracked and, and damaged in it. I wanted one to keep pristine in box. And there's your art on the back of the box. And then if you want to know what it says on the side, and that's what it says on the side. Well, again, we got Batman as Green Lantern. So now I am complete, except for the chase of this guy, on McFarlane Way 3 Collector's Editions. All right, as far as the haul, that is it. That is all we picked up. So let's talk about social media for the Man Collects. Where can you find me on social media? 
Instagram. Look at the description of this video. Look at my about page on YouTube. You got the splash here on the front of the screen that shows you where to find the man collects on Instagram. So look me up on there and give me a follow if you choose to, trying to keep some content on Instagram as well. And now the favorite form of social media, in the opinion of the man collects, the YouTube channel. So if you are that first time viewer to my content, you've came back some several times and have yet to hit subscribe, consider clicking subscribe to the man collects and seeing what comes down the pipe on here on the YouTube channel. Got tongue tied there. Once again, we are steamrolling into year two. Hope we got some big things coming this year. So make sure you subscribe and see what happens. With all that, guys, it's the end of the week. Hope everybody's had a good week. Hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you back here on Monday.